I'm sorry, sir. This is the parts department, not the I threw every part that I could at the car hoping it would fix it department. Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, also known as ETCG1, been posting videos to this channel. Hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Here's a cake. With the pleasantries out of the way, let's get to the topic at hand. You can't return electrical parts when you purchase them, and it sucks. <laughs> well, yeah, it sucks sometimes. I mean, having worked at the dealer and seeing, well, dealer and a, a parts supplier, an independent parts supplier, uh, I've seen this, and I know parts guys hate this <laughs> kind of thing, but let me give you a little background into uh, the genesis of this video. My uh, 1999 Honda Civic behind me that I've been fixing up for my son, one of the issues that it had was the right rear door lock actuator wasn't working. And I knew it wasn't, and I knew I had to replace it. So I ordered one, and since this is a Honda part, I, I ordered it from a Honda parts supplier. Unfortunately, I got the one for the left side instead of the right side, and as a result, I had to order a second part. But when I called them up and asked them to give me an RMA, which is what you've got to do when you order parts online and you want to return them, um, many times anyway, I was sent a very nice email informing me that, hey, it's an electric part and uh, we're not going to take it back. And that sucks because I'm out, well, it was almost 60 bucks for this part, but here it is. And this, this is why I ordered the wrong side because I, I went and looked at the part description. And if you look right there, the part number says RR and there's an L. Well, be warned because uh, with Honda parts, the rear stuff is all RR. The L actually is the left side and I needed the right side. So my bad. And I have to eat this part because I can't send it back. However, I'm gonna throw it in the car in case one day the left rear door lock actuator decides to go. And I mention this because as I said, you know, I've, I've seen this, I've seen, I've seen people bring parts back, you know, like wrapped up in saran wrap or just like really badly taped back together. And now, had I not opened this, I might have argued my, my case a little bit more. I might have said, you know what, look, this is an unopened in the package, in the original package part. Could you please reconsider and take this back? And I might have gotten that argument. In fact, even with this one, if, if you put a piece of tape on it, because whenever I open parts, especially electrical parts, I try not to damage it, or I try to damage it as little as possible just in case it's wrong or I have to return it or whatever. Because originally I thought it was mispackaged, but then they explained to me the whole thing about the RR. And, you know, I should have known better. Think about this from the parts person's perspective. They had to look it up, they had to go and pull it off a shelf, and they had to give you the part and charge you and do all this other stuff, creating this paper trail. And when you return something, they have to go back in, correct that paper trail, correct their inventory, go back and put the part back up on the shelf. Now you're, you're miles away or whatever, and then some other customer comes in and wants to, wants to purchase that part that you brought back. Well. I don't know about you, but whenever I get a part that looks like it's been opened and taped shut again, I'm always scratching my head going, hmm, I paid full price for this? Mm, why? <laughs> so I get it. I, I truly get it. And you know, sometimes it just sucks, but I'm just putting this out there as a friendly reminder more than anything else. If you're buying electrical parts, especially online, uh, be aware that if that part doesn't work or if it's the wrong part or something like that, nah, it's going back to you. So here's something else that I've seen also, especially with electric parts, is they're used for diagnosis. For the parts cannon, hey, I don't know exactly what the problem is, but I'm going to start throwing parts at it until I find it. Let's order all the parts in the system, put them in one by one and plug them in, and the minute it works, we know we fixed it. Yay! Uh, that's the other side of things that I've seen. So, you know, every part in the system has been ordered, been handed over. You find the part that is offending whatever, you plug it in and you're like, ah, we're gonna take the rest of these parts back. No, it's not gonna work that way. And, and that's part of it. So you need to properly diagnose electrical problems before you just start throwing parts at things because they're wise to this. <laughs> they don't wanna see it. So they will tell you very kindly, oh, by the way, sir or madam, we do not accept parts, electric parts back once they are sold. So that's the main crux and the main reason that I'm doing this video is just to put a little PSA out there that if you're ordering electric parts, especially online, to be aware that you will not be able to return them. So if it's an expensive part and you're just guessing, ah, try not to guess and try to make sure you order the right side. 
yes, or if, it's, if there's a left and a right side. So make sure you order the correct part. Just putting this out there, trying to help out my fellow DIYers slash mechanics slash, well, whoever you are, if you just like watching these videos. Hey, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Anyway, if you have questions, I have links in the description for you. If you have automotive questions, I actually head to airatthecarguy.com. There's plenty of stuff there to help you with automotive issues should you have automotive problems. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all those things that help make a living. I really appreciate you doing that because I enjoy doing this and I want to continue bringing you these videos. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Monday on the next ETCG1 video. That is unless you watched on a different day, but it will come out on a Monday. See you then.